the trick to finishing out a landscape drawing, or really any drawing, is to pick whatever it is that you want to focus on. Um, that can be unity, balance, symmetry, variety, it could be repetition, it could be pattern, um, it could be line work, it could be uh, value. Uh, if you're using color, it could be color. Um, it could be motion, whatever you want. This one has turned out to be very textural. So I'm going to embrace that and go with a focus on the texture for the rest of the drawing and see how it turns out. It's not going to be a highly rendered and detailed drawing, but it is going to be interesting to look at uh, from the point of view of texture. If you're using textures like I am, the main texture that you're given is the texture of the paper. Um, if you use the side of your drawing material, like charcoal or pencil, you're going to pick up a lot more paper texture than if you use the point. Um, if you do use the, the tip, every time that you make a mark, you're going to create uh, a line. And if your emphasis is texture instead of line, you need to be sure that you have enough of those lines next to each other. So with this little oak tree, uh, the motion of it has kind of arcs and droops to it. So if I only do a few of those little arcs, it's going to look like a bunch of random arced lines on the tree. So what I need to do is go in with a whole lot of those and make sure that the, that the lines read as a texture overall and not as individual marks distinct from each other. Um, you'll notice that I've already done a little bit of work on that pine tree and that works out pretty well. Um, these little shrubberies over on the right side need a little bit of attention and as I go through I'm thinking about everything that I set up in the beginning. Um, I'm going back and darkening stuff making sure that I've pushed my value range uh, as far as it can go. The thing about trees is that they tend to exist in the uh, number five to number nine value range even on a light side. Um, when you look at them as compared to the sky they're very very dark um, and so you want to be able to emphasize that in your drawing. The sky tends to be a, a one to three maybe four depending on how dark the clouds are and then in between you have your ground um, depending on how much light it catches. So one of the things that you need to do to finish out your drawing is be very specific about each tree and each tree type that you're doing. Um, if you're doing bark textures, you know you don't want to draw the individual lines on a bark on bark, but you can do a texture that's specific to that. Um, it doesn't have to match exactly, but you're trying to capture the essence of it. And in a way, that's more interesting because when you capture the essence of something, you're really putting your personality out there, you're putting your approach out there, and what's going to show through is your approach to the landscape, and that's much more interesting than the landscape itself. If you wanted just the landscape it yourself, you know, itself, you would just go take a photograph. And don't forget, you're also working with atmospheric perspective, and atmospher atmospheric perspective is the idea that contrast pops things forward. So that means if you have an object with a value range of all the values from 0 to 10. That is going to pop forward and come to the front of the drawing. Um, low contrast tends to go really far back. It's not that the further everything, the further away things are lighter than the things in front. Things in the very far background can be very dark if they only exist with low contrast. So that's what you're trying to create. Generally speaking, in a, in a daytime setting, things kind of get lighter in value as they go away, but you still want the trees to appear dark even in the background. And it only takes a little bit of that to uh, achieve a sense of atmospheric perspective. So to finish out, you just want to make sure that everything's kind of delineated, delineated the way you want and that you're emphasizing the correct concepts.